Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance and humanism, is located in a lovely valley. According to legend, the city was built in a lily field, and locals once called it Cita dei Fiori, the city of flowers. The city, called La Bella, reached its peak during the Medici dynasty. Its historic center became a World Heritage Site in 1982, and in 1986, the cultural capital of Europe. The Cathedral Square was the sacral center of the city in medieval times and still retains this role. The Basilica di Santa Maria del Fiore received its name after a martyr girl who died in Cesara. The Duomo, Italy's largest and fourth largest cathedral, was consecrated in 1436. Construction started on the dome in 1296. It features a double-shelled, Gothic-style cloister built above the octagonal hall, spanning over 40 meters. Sixty-four hidden ribs spile upward in the thick inner shell. Thus, the dome supported its own weight, and no scaffolding was needed during construction. The facade, begun in 1587, went unfinished. It was decorated with white Carrara, green Prato, and pink Maremma marble. The marble mosaics of the floor were created between 1525 and 1661, each made from a different color marble. Visitors marvel at the rich stained glass windows and the tomb of Ontario de Orso from 1321. The almost 85-meter-high, marble-covered Gothic bell tower was built between 1334 and 1387. People still call it Giotto's Tower, after its designer, Giotto Pisano. The reliefs on the facade personify the five liberal arts. Its sculptures are only replicas. The originals can be seen at the Cathedral Museum. Above the illustration of the creation, works personifying the planets, the cardinal virtues, and the seven sacraments appear. The Cathedral Museum, opposite the cathedral, opened in 1891. 
The octagonal domed building of the Baptistery of St. John is one of the oldest buildings of the city. The chapel was founded in 1100. The splendid interior of the chapel features Corinthian columns. The walls and floor include Byzantine-style geometrical patterns, the work of Venetian and Florentine artists. The tomb of Antipope John XXIII, created by Donatello and Michelezzo, lies between the north gate and the apse. The rectangular pulpit dates from 1202, displaying prized mosaics as old as the mosaics of the dome. The chapel's crowning glory, its three bronze double doors, the most famous in the world, go back to the 14th and 15th centuries. The entrance looking onto the cathedral is preeminent. Michelangelo proclaimed it fit to be the gate of paradise, and they are still called that, the Porta del Paradiso. The Piazza della Signoria used to be the Forum of the Republic and has been the site of public gatherings and festivals since 1400. Humble historical palaces surrounded by the wide rectangular square are one of the most beautiful architectural works in Italy. The square took its current form in the 1500s. The town hall, the Palazzo Vecchio, used to be the seat of Tuscan Grand Dukes, then the government of the Republic. Its 94-meter-high tower was only completed in the 15th century and symbolized earthly power. After the Medicis built the Pitti Palace, they gave the Palazzo del Priore to the government. Since that time, the building has been known as the Palazzo Vecchio, or Old Palace. For centuries, Michelangelo's David stood near the Palazzo Vecchio entrance. A replica now stands in place of the original. The statue of Hercules and Cacus stands on the other side of the entrance. Its creator, Baccio Bandinelli, wanted to rival Michelangelo with the sculpture. The jewel of the Piazza della Signoria, the Mannerist Fountain of Neptune, was commissioned for a wedding in the 16th century. Near the Fountain of Neptune is the equestrian statue of Cosimo I, with scenes from his life sculpted on its pedestal. The symbol of Florence, the Marzocco, also stands near the fountain. Donatello sculpted this lion with the shield of Florence in 1420. On the south corner of the square stands the arched Loggia di Lanzi, almost four stories high. This ornate, late Gothic, early Renaissance open hall dates from 1382. Lions flank the steps of the middle arch. Two more statues flank the lions. The left is the world-famous statue of Perseus. The U-shaped Uffizi Palace dates from 1560, stretching from the square to the river. Originally intended for governmental and administrative purposes, it now houses the National Library, Central Archive of Tuscany, and Uffizi Gallery. The Uffizi, a globally preeminent gallery and museum, holds the Medici Collection. Its vast collection exhibits cherished masterpieces of Florentine and Venetian painters. It includes masterworks of renowned artists like Giotto, Botticelli, Leonardo, Raffaello, Michelangelo, and Tiziano, but also Dürer, Rembrandt, and Rubens. Ponte Vecchio, one of the world's most famous bridges since the 14th century, spans the Arno and is famous for the collection of small workshops straddling the bridge. Once occupied by butchers, tanners, and blacksmiths, later by goldsmiths. 
On the bridge in 1901, the goldsmiths raised the statue of Benvenuto Cellini, the greatest Florentine goldsmith of the 16th century. Unlike other Florentine bridges, the Ponte Vecchio remained intact during the Second World War, mostly preserving its original splendor for visitors.